We start with the puzzle. What does the graph of v equals u plus at look like? Welcome to this Nothing Nerdy video on motion graphs. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. There are several different types of graphs of motion and for IB Physics you are expected to be able to understand them and to sketch their main details. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. Here you have to imagine what the ST graph looks like when shown the VT graph. You should be able to answer the question by the end of the video. Motion graphs usually show how a variable changes with time. The first one we will talk about is velocity time. From the VT graph we can calculate the acceleration by measuring its gradient. The steeper the line, the larger the acceleration. We can also measure the area under the graph which tells us the displacement during the time period. Here is a runner increasing his speed from 2 meters per second to 8 meters per second in 1.6 seconds. We assume his acceleration is uniform so the graph is straight. We can make two calculations from this graphical information. His acceleration is the gradient of the graph and his displacement is the area under the graph. A gradient is calculated using a triangle drawn on the line dividing the vertical rise by the horizontal run. The vertical change is from 2 to 8 meters per second and this happens during 1.6 seconds. The result is 3.75. We give the answer to two significant figures and we do not forget to include the units nor the direction. And to find his displacement in the same period of time we must measure the area under the graph. The area usually consists of triangles and squares. Here it is one of each and we can make the calculation using the numbers on the axis. As you probably know, the area of the triangle is half of its base multiplied by the height and the rectangle's area is its two sides multiplied together. The result is 8 metres and we write this as 8.0 to show its precision to two significant figures and we don't forget the units or the direction. We can change a velocity time graph into a displacement time graph Although the VT graph is straight, the ST graph is not a straight line. Looking at this graph, we know that the initial displacement is zero and we can calculate the other ones by the areas under the curve for each time. We find that the displacements covered are increased by increasing amounts. So when we draw the graph, it is not a straight line but gets steeper as time passes. This makes sense since the runner is accelerating, so the gradient of the curve should be increasing as his velocity does. The previous calculations were shown to you very quickly, so please stop the video and review them if you didn't catch all of the details. You've seen in this video how the gradient and area are calculated for a velocity time graph. You can also measure these quantities for a displacement time graph, but only the gradient has meaning for us. The gradient of a displacement time graph is its velocity. And sometimes you are asked to make calculations about an acceleration time graph. In this case the area under the graph will tell you the change in the velocity during the time period. If you measure the gradient this will tell you how fast the acceleration is changing. As you may recall the acceleration does not change for situations where we use the five equations of motion but the acceleration does change when we're thinking about accelerated motion which is opposed by air resistance and for oscillations such as simple harmonic motion. If we look at the VT graph we can see that it begins high and positive. The velocity reduces then over time but it still remains positive and then finally the velocity is high again towards the end of the time. So we're looking for an ST graph where the gradient, which is the measure of the velocity, is high and then lower and then high again. And the only one that we see that fulfills this criterion is graph C. And we can draw the gradients in to confirm that and here is the answer. This is the graph of V against T for a uniformly accelerated motion. 
The intercept on the vertical axis is at u, the initial velocity, and the gradient of the VT graph is a, acceleration, as we know. Using the general formula for a straight line, y equals mx plus c, we can see that the equation of this graph is v equals u plus at.